Good morning everyone. We're at the bins here, the Durham Rescue Mission Outlet bins, and uh, some days it pays to show up early. I was running early today, got here at 7.30, and they opened up a few minutes after I got in. So um, right now, oop, until this lady is walking in, we were uh, all alone. But I thought I would just film a little bit of what it is that I'm finding. There's a new manager, and things have really changed for the good since he got in. So let's see if there are any goodies that we can find here. So far, that is my cart. And let's see what else we can find. And the bins are really nicely packed. He's cute. He's cute. Might put him aside and pick him up. Hmm. I don't know if my daughter needs any of these. Oh, it says Texas Christmas. Let me go ahead and pop this Santa into our cart. Oh, we're still scanning for things. Don't need those, thank goodness. Sweet little plate. I don't know. I think I'm going to pass on that though. What is this? As usual, lots of Christmas. I have so much Christmas now though, I really have to be careful what I pick up. Oh, robot transfers. Those are cute. I'm going to pick those up. I could use those for some crafts. Harbor Strength and Preserve. Oh, that's a nice mug. Darn, it's chipped right there, though. Oh, I really like that. Oh, that could be handy for apples, right? What is in here? Looks like mostly glasses, mugs. Oh, Mile Zero, Key West. married in Key West, Florida the second time to my daughter's dad. We got married out on the beach at sunset. It was really quite beautiful. this one here. Oh, is that Tupperware? I don't think that's Tupperware. Let's see what the bottom of it says. No, that's not Tupperware. Darn. As you know, I love to pick up Tupperware. <laughs> well, that's kind of cool. It almost feels like box. Very lightweight. Oh, here's a Turvis mug. Dow. I'm going to pass on that because of the Dow, unfortunately. Jamboree wall. Uh, like a border. I 
there's anything in there. I don't know if anyone would want that for Halloween. It's just a tin. Oh, I think I see a vintage loose paper basket still with the lid or still with the sticker on across the way here. Oh no, almost, 2002. Okay, well I think I'm gonna turn the camera off now, continue going through, and make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video so you can see everything that I picked up. Hi everyone, and welcome to my weekly Sunday Thrift Haul video. If you are expecting a second video in the series that I'm doing, on the items that I brought back from my childhood home in Pennsylvania. I will be doing that, but that video is gonna be later on this week. Today I wanna to show you the things that I picked up from the Durham Rescue Mission outlet, or the bins. I'll show you first the things that I'm going to be keeping for myself, and then those things that I am going to be reselling. So let's go ahead and get started, and let me show you all the goodies that I found. So as I said, let me show you what I'm gonna be keeping for myself first. Uh, let me see, a couple of things of ribbon. Here is the first one. Just this very glittery, uh, sparkly silver ribbon. I'll be using that to package up my uh, packages when I send them out. A couple of tassels. There is a red and a green one, and I'm sure that I can find something to put these on come the holidays. This I bought for Miss Violet, and I'll be using this when we take more trips up to Pennsylvania. This is a really cool collapsible. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not sure if this is for dogs, but it's what I'm gonna be using it for. It's from Eco Vessel, and it collapses, which is really nice for storage until it's time to use it. But I think this will be great to put down on the floorboard of the front seat of the car, the passenger side, so that she can have fresh water and a little snack whenever she wants it when we're in the car. The truck. <laughs> oh, here's the second ribbon that I got. This really pretty kind of a robin's egg blue. Whoops. Almost lost something there. These are some rub-on transfers, which I thought were really pretty flowers. And those I'll be using when I go to kind of just spice up a, an item that I'll be reselling that doesn't have a whole lot of personality to it. I'll be able to put some flowers on it and hopefully just um, make it a little prettier. Oh, this little, this little rabbit, at least he was the only thing that got broken because I did bring back a lot of breakables with me. But I'm going to fix his ears and he is... Oh, there's his little, I just have to fix his little ears. They got broken off, but he's a little pot sitter. So he sits on the edge of your pot and just kind of keeps your plant company. This little be kind sign, I just thought it was really pretty. It is a solid block of wood, and I'm going to be putting that somewhere in the crates that I use as sort of my bookshelves down in my family room. Oh, looks like some more ribbon. Yep, this really pretty black and white gingham with cute little cherries on, on it. This is um, brand new. I like that. This I got from my daughter. You may have remembered a while back me talking about um, uh, a little, a little uh, a basket wall that she wanted to do in her kitchen. Well, I found some baskets for her several hauls ago, ago, and she wasn't happy with them. She was looking more for baskets that she could put greenery and faux greenery in and hang on her wall. So I found this basket. Now, I don't think that is its intended purpose. I think it's actually to put on a desk here, and then you will put notepaper inside of it. But I think it'll, it'll do the job uh, for putting some faux greenery in it. So I picked her up this one. And then this little one, 
is super adorable. I'm going to have to clean out this uh, faux stuff that's in there now. It is just, it, I mean, it is dried and everything, but it has seen much better days. So I'll clean that out, put some faux greenery in that. And then found this little basket for her. This is a tiny little basket. I don't think we'll put anything into this, but I think this with these other two on the wall with some greenery in these two, the bottom two here, they're going to look, have a really nice arrangement there. So hopefully she'll be happy with these. And then some brand new twine, jute twine. I always pick this up. And for myself to take out uh, Miss Violet, got a pair of just slip-on clogs. Um, these are from Born. Now they are lined, so my feet are gonna sweat in the summertime in them. Luckily they won't be on very long though, but in the winter time, I'm sure my toes will really appreciate that. Uh, let me see, one jar that I picked up. This I'm going to put some kind of little collectible in, whether it's uh, dice or marbles or something, but I liked that it was long and thin. Um, that way I think um, folks can see more of what is gonna be inside of the jar. Then I think this is the last thing that I'm gonna be keeping. Oh, I thought you know who was taking a nap, but he's right there. Hopefully he'll be a good boy today. I'm gonna be putting this in the antique space, one, two, three places for plates. This I think is gonna free up some shelf space for me. Not that I have a, have a lot of plates. In fact, right now I'm not sure that I have any plates, but I do have wall space. So this will be good to hang on the wall and then put uh, three plates in it and just replace them as they are sold. So that is everything that I'm gonna be keeping for myself. <clears throat> now don't forget, I'd love if you would watch to the end of the video and then let everybody know in the comment section down below what your favorite find was from today's haul. And I'll let you know what my favorite one is as well. Um, oh, this is gonna be great for Halloween. I'll be keeping this for the Halloween booth and it's quite heavy. It's a little cauldron here. Perfect, perfect, perfect for Halloween. Um, if you wanted to use it in decor or if you wanted to use it as a little candy dish. Um, and it's, it's a metal, it's got some weight to it here. So I'm very, very happy to have found that. Found this vintage Century Primus um, Mighty Light Propane Lantern in the box. And let's see if this has a date on it. Do not see a date on it made in the USA. And what you do is this top piece here, which is pictured right there, you would screw onto a little propane tank. And then you would have your little lantern right there. So some folks might um, appreciate some vintage camping equipment. Found Tupperware, found Tupperware galore. Found these two tumblers. Of course, they have to be washed up. Found three bowls. I was looked and looked for a fourth one. Could not find it, but three is fine. Found a whole bunch of these little juice glasses, two, four, six of these little juice glasses. Uh, let me see, what other, is there other Tupperware to show you? Oh, yes, there is. Goodness gracious, these are, the lids on this one is super tight. Well, this one here, I could not sadly find the lid for. Maybe I'll find it next week, you never know. This one I was able to find the lid for and you just press down in the center there and it just seals it up super, super tight. And then this last one, honestly, I'm not sure if this lid goes with it or not. It's not a very tight seal. 
So I'm kind of guessing maybe this lid does not go with this container. I'm going to look next week when I go, though, and see if I can find those other lids. That would be wonderful if I could do that. I think, my friends, that is all the Tupperware that I found. Almost at the very end of the trip, I found this old Santa, and he is hung on the wall, made in Taiwan. If you could see that there, and then there's the little hole. He does have a little crack in him right there, but he'll still go on the wall, and the paint is actually really pretty good. And then they have a new, really excited, really excited about this. They have a new manager, I'm going to call him, uh, out at the outlet. And um, you could really tell the difference in the last several weeks since he has um, taken over. They are bringing more items out. Things are more organized and neat. The people that are working there are actually working now instead of just hanging around and doing nothing. Um, he's a super friendly guy. Turns out that his mom used to run a thrift store. Uh, this is, I'm going to try something new at the booth. I'm going to try selling candles because oftentimes I come across unused candles at the bins. So I thought I'm going to start, I have been buying them um, for, for use for myself or to give to my friend Rhonda. I'm going to try and see how they do at the booth. So I found this uh, Blueberry Cobbler by Cream House, it says, and the bottle is shaped like a milk bottle. It was originally $5, and that's actually the price that I was thinking about putting on it in my booth, so we'll see if the candles attract anyone or not. Uh, this was a mug that I could not leave behind. It is a night, what, night, no, nightmare? Um before Christmas mug. Now he was in perfect shape yesterday when I put him in the bag and I just now noticed a tiny little chip on him right there. So I may try and file, of course I have time till Christmas. I may try and file that down a bit and then, you know, dab on some really bright red paint and get rid of that chip to repair it. Um, but I hate to think that I did that to him because I, he's just adorable, and I know somebody's going to love him. Could not leave this behind. This is a what I believe is a sloth planter. Now, he has a little hole in the bottom of him, so you would either have to plug up that little hole, or you could just put a faux succulent or something in him. But look at his little face. He's absolutely adorable. Had to bring him home. This I thought, oh, one more piece of Tupperware I just found. This I thought was a really pretty little uh, dish, a little trinket dish. Uh, it's either Japanese or Chinese. It could be Taiwan, I'm not sure. It's some Asian writing on the back of it. And look at how pretty that is. And the corner of it kind of looks like it's folded over. But I thought that was really pretty, the blue and white. And it's outlined in a, almost like a bronze color. Looks gold, I think, in the camera, but it's really a, a deeper bronze color. I thought that was a really pretty trinket dish. Here's that other piece of Tupperware, and I definitely remember my mom putting my sandwiches in these little sandwich uh, containers when I was a kid. Found a couple of pieces of ironstone, but I only brought one home because the others were they had considerable chips and such in them. And this is, let's see, who made this? Do I have my glasses here somewhere? Oh, there they are. Let's see if I can see with my glasses who made this. Uh, Independence Ironstone uh, Interpace Japan. It looks like it's got some crazing on the bottom of it. You can see there. Maybe you can make that out, but this is a beautiful little dish. And I know that a lot of people collect ironstone. I have a few pieces myself, but I thought somebody might enjoy that. Found this one candlestick, but I really liked it. So I decided to pick it up, even though it was just a single, 
So it's got a brass top on it here and then this twisted um, arm or leg, I'm not sure what that is. And then the bottom has a little bit of wear on the bottom. So I'm thinking I might go ahead and paint this and distress it. Take this off first before I do the painting and then paint and distress that. But sometimes folks are looking for singles, so. And speaking of singles, look at this adorable bookend. Oh my gosh, isn't he sweet? Oh, I absolutely love him. And I searched and searched for the other one, could not find it. But like I said, I know a lot of people will decorate with, they only need one bookend. So all I have is one, so I'm gonna try and sell it, just this single guy by himself. Found, <clears throat> oh, hold on, this is gonna be loud. There we go. A Ray Dunn mug, best teacher ever. Got this little ornament with the elf. <laughs> Look at his fat belly sticking out there and the candle. And this I got not for the ornament itself, but I thought he would look adorable in some kind of little, like maybe in, um, oh, I don't know what I could put. Maybe I could put him inside of a clock. I know you, if you've been watching me for a while, it was some, some time ago, I showed you how I do little vignettes inside of clocks that I got. And I think that guy would be perfect inside of one of those. So that's the reason I picked him up. And I'll show you those all in just a minute. I got some tacky plastic, Christmas plastic. I think this is amazing. And somebody's going to like this, I think. Um, and this is flocked on the bottom. No date or stamp or anything. Um, okay, if you don't like bugs or roaches, turn around right now. Okay, here they come. Got these roach bag clips. I thought these would be, these are from, what is it, Fred? Yeah, from Fred. I thought these would be hysterical uh, come Halloween time. So pick those up. They'll be put away till then. Whoops. And this was separate. I'm so glad I found the two pieces of it. This is an older uh, nut um, crusher. So you put the nuts in there, you know, turn it upside down. And then as you turn that, the nuts fall into this grating piece right here and then they get all chopped up and i think this has a name and something on the bottom here this is federal tool corporation chicago is what it says on the bottom of it so if you can see that and then that great old red there now, i don't know if i would advise using this but it would make a great decor piece. This is an almost vintage waste paper basket uh, from Better Home 2000. No, I guess it's not. Wait a minute. This is a vintage waste paper basket. It's from 2002. So this is, <coughs> excuse me, so sorry. Better Home Plastic Corporation, Palisades Park, New Jersey. It still has its sticker on it. Great color. So I think somebody's going to enjoy that. Oh, Lewis is going after the cockroaches. Nobody. Just go after the live ones, okay? Thank you. But putting him down did remind me of this beautiful picture that someone did. Love, love, love this. I think the frame is just perfect for it. And it's not signed or anything, or it, it may be, and it's it's signed in a part that's underneath of the frame where you can't see, but I think that's gorgeous, and someone's going to love that. Um, a few more things to show you. This was a this was a lengthy haul. I got some good stuff. Uh, this is an iron. I think it's for uh, cookbooks on the kitchen counter, so I will be staging it in the booth as such. That sounded so official, didn't it, as such. A gingerbread man and woman mug. That is a hefty mug, too, let me tell you. Um, it's a hand wash only. 
Uh, don't put it in the microwave or the oven. Certified International, but I thought it was just adorable. And luckily, I didn't get any kind of chips or anything in the bag for this one. Um, picked up a couple of picture frames because they had a really kind of rustic and worn look to them for, um, to me. This is from Rooms Essential. That one, and then this one. This one does not have any marking as to who made that one. So these are not old. This next sign I love, love, love. Apples for sale. And this is a, look at the, how thick that wood is. This is a chunky piece of wood, let me tell you. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Um, I may have to paint that a little bit there just to take that off, but the rest of it, I think I'm gonna leave the rest of it just the way that it is. Oh, well, this is going to be a project piece, but I thought this is a great little shelf. Now, it used to have a door on it because that's, that's where the hinge was for the door, uh, but that's okay. When I go to, to work on this, I'm just going to putty those holes and sand them down so you won't even know that they were there, but this is great. These two shelves here, you can even put stuff whoop, on the top here. And then you can hang, I don't know, whatever, dish towels on this, um, washcloths. I thought that was just a fun little um, project piece. Oh, my goodness. As always, I'm running out of space here. Let me put this down. And then found another riser. <clears throat> this is a big one. This is a big square one. Has some feet on it already. This is going to need some sanding though because I really like to try and get that water stain off of it, that water stain mark off of it, and then probably put on a little old English just to bring that back to life. Then I found a lot of wooden kitchen utensils. Oh, first let me show you this. This is just a silver plated uh, business card holder, but I thought it was really nice. There we are. Because I know folks still do give out business cards. And you might, might I'm not sure, but you might even be able to engrave it down there on the bottom. So, uh, oh, one more thing I see in here. Let me show you. Ah, oh my God. Oh goodness. Okay, we'll just start showing you the, the utensils because they're not cooperating. So this is beautiful. This really dark brown and light wood. And then we have this one that matches it. Now I bought these for a couple of reasons. I bought them to help some staging in the booth when I put like Crocs or something like that up there uh, to show folks what they can be used for. But I'm also going to be selling these because I I've been watching videos on what to do with your booth and how to do things and such. And one of the best tips that I think that I found while I was going through and watching these videos was make sure everything in your booth is for sale. That nothing disappoints a buyer more if they find a piece in your booth and there is a, what, an NSF, not, no, NFS, not for sale, yes sticker on it. Now the only thing that I have in my booth right now that is not for sale is actually on the outside of the booth. And yes, I will be doing a video on my booth. I, I promise. I just don't know when I can get to it, but um, that I put things, I have some space right outside of the little closet area where I am able to display as well. And I bought, I picked the piece up uh, at a thrift store for like $15 and it even it's not a display piece it's actually for uh, it's an entertainment center piece and it's not in the best of shape and that I just can't even imagine somebody would want to buy that but that is the only piece that is not for sale um, I did have some faux greenery in there some flowers that I was using to just kind of bring some spring and summer to the booth I've removed those and I've replaced them with bunches that now are for sale. Um, so we have those two. And this chunky monkey here. And another one. 
kind of a spatula. Another chunky monkey. This I think is bamboo. <clears throat> yep, this one is labeled bamboo, so that's definitely bamboo. This I think is for spaghetti. And then a mallet. So I'll be cleaning those off and putting price tags on all of those. And then these I picked up, forgot about these. These are for myself. They are Pentel uh, brush pen. I don't know if I got all of the colors there because the this top was off of it and they were kind of all over the bin. So I had to go scrambling to find them. Um, but I found a bunch of these and these I just hope will come in handy. Um, maybe if I need to fill in, if there's little nicks and such and... Uh, I don't have my paints handy, or I don't have a paint that matches it, but I will have this to kind of fill in. And then this I just picked up, uh, open till dusk, always fresh flower market, seeds, stems, and blooms, just this little tin. So that'll look really pretty, um, staged with some flowers in it. And the last pieces that I picked up, I rarely find anything for Easter. Well, I found a whole bunch of things for Easter this trip. And they're all these little houses. They're absolutely adorable. I am gonna to have to get some of the lights because most of them were missing the lights. So we have that one. Uh, this one has a light. Unfortunately, it's stuck up inside of there. So it's gonna take some time to get that out of there, but I'll, I'll work on it, I'll get it out. This is Home Sweet Home with little bunnies and such on it. And then this one is a school. <clears throat> this is the train station, I think. Yep, train station. This is the bakery. Who's up there at the bakery? Okay, I was looking to see what that was. I thought maybe it was a little critter. But I think it's actually baked goods. And then the last one that also has one of the lights is the church. Then I picked up some little figurines that will go with this. Oh, let's see. There's a tag on this one. Let's see if it happens to give us a year. Although I'm pretty sure these are not vintage. They may have some age to them, but um, no, I do not see any date on them. <clears throat> then I picked up some little critters to go with that. So I think once Easter comes, I'll put this away for the Easter booth, uh, but I think once Easter comes, I will sell this all as a lot and make a little, you know, little village out of it. So I'll go through the little critters that I found very quickly for you. Here's that, and here's the little kitty with the wheelbarrow, and these two ladies. Uh, this little one with her watering can. They're so cute. And this one, what is she doing? Oh, she has her eggs in a basket and then some flowers. And then the last one, <laughs> I think this one's on a rocking horse, maybe. It's a little bunny. So that finally, I picked up a lot yesterday. That finally is everything. So what is my favorite <clears throat> of everything that I showed you? Um, hmm. Okay, I think my favorite's going to be the picture because this is an original painting and I really like that. So this is my favorite. So in the comment section down below, let everyone know what your favorite find was. And uh, if you do wanna see my next in the series of what I picked up in my childhood home, I'll be doing that later on this week. So make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss that. If you did enjoy today's weekly Sunday thrift haul, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. And you can even leave me a comment down below. I would love um, to read what you have to say. 
So you can see Lewis was a pretty good boy this week. So thank you, Lewis. And thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you in my next video. And as always, please take very, very good care of yourselves. And bye for now, everybody.